Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is your friend Sinan from Sonic Ideas. So guys, finally today in this video, I'm going to make my first DB Beyblade, which is called Vanish Fafnir, as you can see. And it will be a burstable Beyblade with DB system and also with tapered disc. And finally with kick driver, which will work like the real driver of Vanish Fafnir. So I request you all to watch the full video and also don't forget to like the video after watching the video. And also don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel if you are a new person in my video. So guys, no talking now, now let's start. So guys first I'm going to make the vanish ring for the Beyblade. So guys to make the vanish ring you have to cut some cardboard pieces like the vanish ring photo. Now first stick these three cardboard pieces on the vanish ring photo with glue perfectly and I'm going to use hot glue gun. You can also use favicol glue like that or other strong glue items. Okay. Now let me show you after sticking. So guys after sticking those three cardboard pieces on the vanish ring photo now same day stick this cardboard piece on the vanish ring with glue perfectly like that. Let me show you. So guys now as you can see I have sticking that cardboard piece on the vanish ring now same day stick the other three cardboard pieces on the vanish ring with glue perfectly. Let me show you. So guys after sticking all the cardboard pieces the vanish ring will look like this and I had also wrapped some hot glue gun around the ring. I did it so that the ring will be strong and it will still spin from other base because you all know that Fafnir is the king of stealing spin. Okay now let's make the DB core for the Beyblade. So guys first I am going to make the DB chip then I will make the DB core. So guys to make the DB chip as you can see I had cut some cardboard pieces like the DB chip photo. Now first stick these three cardboard pieces on the DB chip photo like that with glue perfectly. Let me show you. So guys now as you can see I had taken those three cardboard pieces on the DB chip photo. So guys the DB chip is ready. Now let's make the DB core. So guys to make the DB core as you can see I had cut two cardboard pieces almost like the DB core. Now first stick these two cardboard pieces on the DB core like that perfectly with glue. So guys now as you can see I had taken those two cardboard pieces on the DB core photo. Now simply stick this DB chip on the DB core like that right here perfectly with glue or other glue items let me show you so guys after sticking the db chip on the db core the db core will look like that as you can see so guys the db core is almost ready now as you can see i have a burst function system on my hand and i had created it with thin cardboard pieces and guys if you want to know how to make a burst function system like that go to my channel and find a playlist called beyblade part creations then go to that play playlist and you will find the video about how to make a beyblade burst function system okay now stick it at the center area on the db core like that with glue or super glue let me show you so guys now the db core is fully ready as you can see now let's make the armor 3 for the beyblade so guys to make the armor 3 as you can see i had cut two cardboard pieces like the armor 3 photo now stick these two cardboard pieces on the armor 3 photo like that perfectly with glue or favicol glue let me show you so guys now the armor 3 is also ready now let's make the tapered disc so guys to make the tapered disc as you can see i had cut almost 11 cardboard pieces like that now first stick the smaller cardboard pieces together with glue like that perfectly let me show you and i'm going to use fabrical glue do not use hot glue gun okay so guys after sticking it will look like this now as you can see i have two plastic pieces on my hand and i had cut them from our orange color bottle cap and i had shaped them like that with scissors you can also use ice cream sticks or cardboard pieces to make the plastic pieces like that okay now stick these two plastic pieces on the both side on the cardboard part like that let me show you and guys I'm, I'm gonna stick these two plastic pieces on the both side by using super glue you can also use fabrical glue but it will be much better for you if you use super glue Okay, so guys after sticking those two plastic pieces on the both side on the cardboard part now simply stick these three cardboard pieces on this cardboard part from small to big okay let me show you so guys as you can see I had sticking those three cardboard pieces on the cardboard part like that now simply stick the other cardboard pieces from small to large on the cardboard part like that perfectly with favicol glue or other glue items let me show you so guys now as you can see i had sticking all the cardboard pieces from small to large and i had also wrapped some hot glue gun around the disc i did it so that the disc will be heavy and the beyblade will spin for a long time but it's optional it is not that much necessary to add glue around the disc okay so guys now the tapered disc is fully ready now let's make the kick driver the most interesting part of the beyblade 
So guys, to make the cake driver, you need some items as you can see. First, you need three circular cutter piece like that. Then you need a spring and I had to get from my old Zeta driver from Spryze and Requiem. You can get this spring from any burstable Beyblade driver. Okay, then you need a small circular cutter piece like that. And then you need a body of a pen and the size of the body of the pen is half inch. And guys, you can use any type of pen you want. But make sure that the pen, uh, the body of the pen is little bit small than the spring. Okay. Then you need a tip so that the Beyblade can spin and guys you can use other materials if you want old LED or other materials if you have. Okay. Then you need a burst function system and I had previously told you if you don't know how to make a burst function system go to my channel and find a playlist called Beyblade Power Creations then go to that playlist and you will find the video about how to make a Beyblade burst function system with thin car ports. Okay. Then finally you need a bottle cap and guys make sure that the bottle cap is very very lower like that. I just uh, I had just cut the upper part of the bottle cap to make it lower but do not use higher bottle caps almost like this. Okay. Now first stick these three circular cardboard pieces together with glue. Let me show you. So guys after sticking those three circular cardboard pieces together with glue now stick this spring at the center area where the hole is created with super glue. Let me show you. So guys now stick this body of the pen at the center area on the bottle cap with glue or super glue. Let me show you. So guys after sticking now place this circular cover piece like that on the bottle cap. Then stick this circular small cover piece on the body of the pen. Don't stick it on the cover piece okay. With super glue. Let me show you. So guys after sticking all the parts it will look like this. And as you can see the kick driver is working. Very flexible. Okay, now stick this tip on top at the center area on the driver like that with super glue. Let me show you. Now stick this burst function system at the center area into the bottle cap with glue. And I'm going to use hot glue gun. You can also use clay if you want or MCL. Let me show you. it at the center area so guys after sticking the burst function system at the center area into the bottle cap now add glue on the both side let me show you I'm going to add hot glue gun you can also use clay or MCL you can see simply on the other side Okay, now let it dry and guys the driver is fully ready so guys vanish fafnir is fully ready as you can see with vanish ring then with db core fafnir and also with armor 3 and then with taper disc which is really really similar to the real taper disc of fafnir and then finally with kick driver which works like the real kick driver of vanish fafnir as you can see it's working very perfectly so guys now let's set up the Beyblade. let's see how does the Beyblade looks First I'm going to use low mode to set up it. Yes, fits perfectly. Then attach the armor. Wow, looking awesome guys. Then the desk. Finally the driver. Wow guys, locks very perfectly. Everything is okay and perfect. And guys the baby is looking very awesome and OP guys. I just can't wait to test this Beyblade. Now let me show you how can you change the low mode and high mode system in this Beyblade. Now the Beyblade is in low mode. Now if you want high mode, open the Beyblade, take out the TV core, place the armor, and the fan ring like that. As you can see. Place the disc. Now, guys, as you can see, there is a huge gap on the Beyblade, and now you have high mode. Such a sick bay, guys. 
so guys first i'm going to spin this beyblade in low mode then i will spin this beyblade in high mode okay and i'm going to use my homemade launcher you can also use the original launchers and guys if you want to know how to make this launcher go to my channel and find a playlist called beyblade launchers then go to that playlist and you will find the video about how to make a sparking beyblade launcher okay now let's spin it wow guys locks perfectly three two one go shoot wow guys so smooth this is the perfect Beyblade I had ever created. Wow guys, so smooth guys. I hope the high mode will also work perfectly like that. The bay is very stable guys. Wow, the Beyblade is spinning for a long time guys. Oh, it's wobbling now. Oh. Okay, now let's use high mode. Okay. Okay, now the Beyblade is in high mode. As you can see, there is a big gap. Now let's spin it. I hope the high mode will work perfectly because the Beyblade is very, very high, guys. Okay, 3, 2, 1, go shoot. Wow, guys, high mode is also working perfectly, but vibrating a little bit. But otherwise, awesome, guys. In high mode, the Beyblade does not have that much stamina, but overall, the Beyblade is very, very good. So, guys, now let's do some test battles with the Beyblade. Let's see how does the Beyblade attacks. So, guys, to start the battle, I'm gonna use Mirage Fafnir because the both bays are stamina type Beyblades, and guys, the both bays are Fafnir Beyblades. I just want to see that which Beyblade is the strongest, Mirage or Vanish. Let's see. First battle, 3, 2, 1, go shoot. Oh, strong attack. Oh no, oh. I knew that guys, I expected that from Vanish Fafnir. Vanish Fafnir got 1 point for a survivor finish, point standing 1 to 0. Now let's do the second battle. Now I'm going to use high mode as you can see. 3, 2, 1, go shoot! Oh wow guys, a ring out finish from Raj Fafnir. Raj Fafnir got 1 point for a ring out finish, point standing 1 to 1. Wow, that was an awesome attack, guys. Using high mode again. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. Oh, I knew that, guys. Vanish Fafnir got 1 point for a survivor finish. Point standing 2 to 1. Now, let's do the final battle. Let's see if something happens. Back to low mode. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. Oh no guys, Mirage Fafnir is wobbling. Oh no. Oh, Mirage Fafnir just lost this battle guys. Vanish Fafnir got 1 point for a survivor finish, point standing 3 to 1. It means Vanish Fafnir wants this battle. So guys, thanks for watching the video. Make sure you like the video for the Beyblade. And also don't forget to subscribe if you are a new person in my video. In the next video, I will make Saber Valtrek or Dynamite Belial. But till then, bye.